Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, it is me, uh, 50 Curse, and welcome back to another. to, to an, another fireside chat. Um, sorry for the very, very delayed uh, response. I said that the video was going to release uh, in a week's time. It looks like it's actually been two. Um, I, I do take full responsibility for this blunder, and I I accept all the blame. Now, sorry, I'm trying to get the, the channel open right now. I, I'm I'm doing okay. Uh, everything everything is fine. Anyways, uh, ju just like I said the last time, uh, hot, hot cocoa, uh, relaxing, getting, uh, settled in, uh, absorb, uh, the Christmas energy, the, the holiday festivities, um, you all, yeah, whatever, the, the stuff that we did last time, you just, okay, we're going to start now, I'm going to answer some of these questions, so. Okay, okay, this one comes in from Ella. Ella Thornburg, uh, what, what are your sources of inspiration for the Warship Games? Alert, 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 green weapon reactor cooler failing. Thank you, Ella Thornburg, that is a great question. Um, so, so basically, um, when we come up with ideas for games, we usually are sitting down at a big round table, and one of us has a gavel, and we sit there and we say, wouldn't it be cool if, like, for example, we had a jetpack and a rocket launcher, and we said that we, you know, also thought that there should be a dinosaur game, and then one of us says, you know, maybe we'll put the dinosaurs and the jetpack rocket launcher into the same title. And that's usual. That's usually how, how these ideas come to, uh, come to pass. I remember coming up with, uh, or at least helping with the initial idea that became Death Battle, which started out as wouldn't it be awesome if we had two invincible fighters against an improbable enemy? And then we, we sort of took that concept, we, we, we wanted to tell a story of good versus evil, of, uh, we wanted to tell a story of David and Goliath, you know, tradition versus the new way, all the, all these things. Uh, all the, all these, uh, different Blade things. Green stuff that I don't so, know supposed to. so, that was, that, that was the, uh, the plan that uh, we were all working with at the time. For other things, I think uh, I did not make uh, War Zombies, but I did uh, help out with the sequel. I took the sequel, and um, I, I was basically thinking, like, how do we, how do we continue the story of the Golden Legend? And you know, it all seemed natural that naturally the zombie apocalypse game would lead into the time doors and time travel. So that is. That is where we went with it, with it from there. The process is usually fun. We usually order a pizza or two. I, I grill up, I, I, I turn on the grill, I get the grill going for the cheeseburgers and everything. But uh, that's just me. They, they, they only want their pizza or something. That's, that's okay. That's alright. But when Scout used to work for us, he would just order those like big expensive subway platters like the ones they have at like catering for birthday parties and he'd usually go through like an entire one of those himself um but that is that is a question had nothing to do with the lunch menu at war shooter that that would be a video of its own i don't have to write that one down we'll put it in the canteen okay i'll go to the next question okay, let's go to the next question this one comes from ariane well oh, it's a very uh I'm not, I'm not sure about that name but anyways let's see uh Will you be making another video on Deathloop? And if not, how would you like the whole game? I know you made a video focusing on its multiplayer. I'd love to hear what you think of what the game is. Yeah, I don't think this question's for us. I think it's a leadhead question. That is a leadhead moment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go pass that one off to her. I know you're watching this, so uh, you can go ahead and uh, leave a response to them. All right. Is there anything you have learned working with War Shooter that you wish you would tell your past self if you could? Absolutely. You know, working with War Shooter has, has really uh, given me a sense of brotherhood and compassion and, and all this other stuff. 
that I like to think of myself as a general giant even before the war showed days, but when I was on the road, uh, you know, you didn't really have a lot of interaction with people outside, you know, the bikers and, and whatever on the, on the streets, and I would tell myself, there is, like, wisdom in settling down, you know, not everything in life has to be a big adventure. You know, the answers to most problems aren't as complicated as they make themselves out to be, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the simpler things of existence, and I think if I told a uh, young 50 all about that, I might have been a little happier a little earlier, you know what I'm saying? So that's, 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 that's a good question. Thank you, uh, Dolphin here. Thank you, Dolphin here. Very, very, very good question. This next one's from Polish Alert the Cart. Polish Containment the, of green the, car, the, 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 the Cart. What an interesting name. Two possible questions. What is your favorite Beatles song and album? And what what's one or something about doing YouTube that you wish someone told you? Love all your work. I, I get the feeling. No one no one leaves comments like that happy on a war shooter video. I'm going to I'm going to assume this was for Lithead, but given that she was not directly uh, mentioned, I'm going to answer it anyway. So firstly, my favorite Beatles song, without a doubt, is uh, It's Okay to Leave Your Dog in a Hot Car. I, th I find that, that song makes it slaps me on the knee every time I listen to it. It is a chuckle fest. And the second question is, uh, doing YouTube. Now, I, I've been doing Warshooter for a while, but a big part of that comes with YouTube. I'd say that, uh, one thing I would yeah, I would do differently is probably make our own dedicated channel. I just don't think we'd get as much exposure. I do know that the contract that we got going with Laird, um, that, that, is, that is going to expire, uh, fairly soon. So, we might end up not really having a choice. So, we're, we're going to see. We're going to see. I wish somebody told me that. Uh, they gave me the infinite subscriber glitch. I would love to have the infinite subscriber glitch. I really do wish that I've been told that. I do. I am aware that it exists. And I, I'm, I'm going to go find it. I'm going to go do it. This is done. What is my favorite breed of oh God, dog? Stuff this comes everywhere. from oh God. Uh, that's Kimono. Someone something. I do. I, let me tell you. I used to have a little Shih Tzu. I do love them. They're, they're very funny. They're, they remind me a lot of myself. Um. That being said, Cavapoos and Wheat and Terriers gotta be the way to go. Gotta be the way to go. I do know that uh, Blood Tapper used to have a pit bull. Yeah, you know the pit bull is. We brought it into the office once. Damn near tore off my finger. Yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, what is the best way to eat dinosaur chicken nuggets? Personally, I use a fork and a knife. And that question comes from uh, uh, from a person named Gabo. And, and let me say, the previous question about the dogs came from H. Badbode, who has a very cool nickname. I do, I do like that one a lot. Reminds me of Fifty Curse. Fifty Curse. I never. I, I should probably tell the story behind that name at some point. That is also another. Fantastic alert, idea. Alert. Critical green weapon containment failure. Hold, give me, give me a second. I'm recording something. Give me just a second. Guys, yeah. guys. What, 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 what? Mr. Fifty Coast, the green weapon is showing dangerous signs uh, of flux you Asian. Take the, take the dial and set it down. I, I did that, but it showed the evil colors. Work. Try that already. Uh, in that case, in that case, shut it down. Are you sure that's gonna work? I, I don't think in my years of research that's how the reaction goes down. Ain't worth breaking some big old I'll I'll do the closing, okay? Thank you, 500. Good night, uh, Thomas. Good night, 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 Good night,
Sorry about that. Uh. Anyway, anyway, it's just scary. Oh God, I'm so scared. It's getting everywhere. It's getting everywhere. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. How many more? How many more of these are left? I gotta. Okay. Keep on. Uh, second quest says keep on keeping on. I don't have questions, but if I did, they would be about fish. I gotta tell you something, I haven't been on an honest to god fishing trip in so long. You, you've just reawoken the, uh, spirits inside of me that, uh, used to really care about fishing. So, I, I'm gonna, maybe, in like a week's time, I think I'm gonna go fishing. Now, thank you for putting that in my head. I'm, I'm gonna go do that. Alright. Uh, thank you, second quest. Now, J now, Jangle... Jingle uh, asks, "What flavor of chips is the best?" I just kind of like, like normal potato chip, like just a regular one, nothing, nothing fancy. But the only, like, the flavor of the cheeseburger is kind of what dominates the the morsels in the mouth or whatever. The chip is a good supplement, but I don't want anything too crazy because it, it kind of messes with the... You gotta balance it out. There's a science to it. There is a science to it, and that much is real. That is very much real. The next question comes in from Red Stinger underscore zero. Now, they ask what is my favorite flavor or species of ice cream. I, I like I like a churn vanilla if I'm being honest, but I have been known to uh, I don't know what the, I don't know how the how the saying goes. I have been known to get down with a uh, chocolate chip and chocolate chip and chocolate chip cookie ice cream. I've been known to do that. That is pretty cool. Um, I'm unaware of any extra species of ice cream. I have not documented any of them in any form of major or significant capacity, I will have to do a separate branch of research for that. I will, I will certainly get on that and keep you informed when I make a discovery, but thank you for making me aware. And thank you for making me aware. Oh my god, 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 oh Okay, uh, uh, I, I don't know if I should be concerned about the watchful one. I do know we had the interloper, he was stalking our stuff a while ago, back when the Admiral was doing his thing, but I haven't heard from him in a while. If you are the interloper, then I would like to get a chance to ask you if you ever did, uh, think I had a pencil. It was like a blue, uh, like a Darth Vader pencil that had like Kylo Ren on the back. And I got that from, uh, for my son's, like, you know, kindergarten class. And, like, I didn't really have any, like, big thing to it. It's more just, like, we don't really have a lot of pencils in the office. We, we don't really get a lot of them around here, so... Uh, if you could just give that back to me. Just, like, roll under the door or something. I'm not asking you to reveal yourself or whatnot. But, anyways, your question was, how is the let do it? I thought the, I thought the watchful one uh, would, would already know. Uh... I mean, if I, well, I haven't really, like, had a chance to speak to her in a while. I have been very busy. Um, but I did, I did, I did, uh, reach out to the a little bit after Scout released Construction Heroes 4. I, I wanted to talk to Scout, check on how he's doing. He hasn't exactly been talking, uh, to us. Very, I haven't really heard anything from him since he left the company. I just wanted to make sure he's doing okay. Uh, this is scary, I can't, uh, I can't do this. The green stuff's getting everywhere. Uh, green weapons uh, flowing at large. I'm leaving. This is too so scary. I, oh my god, I don't oh god. Really I, I, gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. You're leaving? I gotta go. I gotta go. Okay. But me and Leiter, uh, we have not been casually communicating. We, we have not done that in a while. So last I checked, she was doing swell. And I hope she still is right now. I still have the cheeseburger if you want it. I have not rescinded that offer. You don't see me right now, but I am shaking my finger. 
Thank you for watching for one. This next one comes from Joyous. When was the last time you felt forgotten? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I still had a little bit of the green weapon kind of uh, lying around here. How does that affect? Uh, <laughs> okay, alright, okay, uh, the, the green weapon, um, I'm sorry, I should have been more responsible. The green weapon is very dangerous if not treated properly. It's been a very long day. I'm, I'm gonna move on to the next question now. <coughs> I'm gonna move on now. Uh, uh Kfas man wants to know where the War Shooter Interactive Headquarters is. I dare you to find out. I dare you to find out. We're not going to attack you if you find us, but I dare you to find us, because if you can find us, you damn well can work for us. That's honest to God's truth right there. Honest, honestly, honestly. Uh, Bone Chavo has... What happened to that gangster guy who robbed you guys? You also know I snuck in and left the heater on. That was you? That was you. Thank you, Bone Chavo. You can call inside. Somebody go out? Wow. Sorry, sorry. I was just a little overwhelmed there. Okay. But, uh... So, I, I think you're referring to, uh, what's his face? The guy... I forgot his name. You can find him in an old uh, thing, a war shooter lore video. He's a, he's, we found out he had blood relation to Al Capone, and he tricked Blood Tapper into sending the Admiral to space. He made him write a whole book, uh, Master Fort Fighter. He tricked him into launching him into space. That that maniacal gangster who shall not be named had infiltrated our ranks, but he has stolen nothing else from us. Although I will say the collateral damage with the Admiral admittedly is something I can look, uh, I can, I can turn a blind eye on because he was not a good man. But that still does not excuse thievery in the slightest. I'm surprised someone remembers all that. It feels like so long ago. But we have moved on since then. We're doing a lot better now. So thank you. Thank you for your concern, Bone Travolta. And if you're gonna turn the heater on next time, don't be afraid to let us know. You know, we, we don't mind if you want to come inside, take a look around, or whatever. Just let us know. We'll give you a tour. Honestly. You wouldn't even get a... We'll even let you have access to the ninth weapon. That is a very, very, very special prototype we've been looking to give away. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, it's more that green, green stuff in the air again. N asks, will I make a GTA 4 video someday? Just more lighthead questions. Do not read the title of the video, it said, Q&A announcement, a call for questions. Clearly says, my face in the thumbnail, uh, right there. How the hell, I'm not mad at you, but come on now. Green sauce over red sauce, let's go from WTF cooldown. Green sauce is very dangerous. Okay, um, okay, uh, let's, let's see here. Red, red, uh, red sauce could be a wide variety of things, but green, uh, slimy liquid forms are very dangerous. It's why we are experimenting with them right now. Uh, Skin Lizard asks, irrelevant question, what is my favorite color, favorite coloring, uh, require favorite, favorite color, most like color of all time. Gotta be the green. I do like green. My 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 appreciation for green has certainly been tested these last few days, but at the moment it is still green. Someone asks, "What is my exact location?" Uh, I'm going to not answer that one. Uh, po poker poker Rikes wants to know why did the chicken cross the road? Where did the chicken cross the road? I do want to know. Uh, Josh Caldaria says, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty fine. Sucky wants to know, do I have a play Star Trek online? Yes, I do. You can find me at 50C up in the star with a Z instead of an S at the end. Uh, you go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll give you a little, I'll, I'll let you know how I'm doing if you find me. Quizzy says, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, this is, uh... 
not really sure what the hell that is. We don't know what the beer is. Beer is, I don't, I don't even know what that is. Finally, N. You've commented already. Okay, uh, you asked, uh, this isn't a question, it's just a word base. I hate to be, uh, overly inquisitive, but what exactly am I based on? I'm based on my father and my mother. That's all I know. Uh, okay. Um, and, and the final question. <coughs> and the final question uh, comes in from uh, 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 Klaxon 90. He, he wants to know what the status of Project Green is. Okay, okay. But it's, it's going, it, it is going good, it's going about as well as we thought it would. Uh, very, very promising results in bringing a video game characters to life. A new way of, you, you ain't ever seen a video game character like this one. Or, or like ours, oh god, or like ours. Uh, the, it has been going very successfully, although I will admit things have not exactly been going fully to plan. Um, uh, but, but we will keep you posted. We found a way to bring uh, our characters to life in in a way that I am looking forward to, assuming the tests continue to show promising results, and they are really this much they are. So I'll uh, I'll, 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 let you, I'll let you know. We're very close, though, to debuting the project, so... Just, just keep an eye out, out. Um... Oh god. I, I, I think I gotta change rooms. Uh, the, uh, there's like a vent open in this one, it's kinda cold in here. It's kinda cold in here. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Thank, thank you for relaxing with me by the fire. And, uh... uh Oh god, keep, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on. I'll, I'll see you later.